friends it's joelle and welcome back to another vlog this summer has been crazy so far for the past three weeks i've been traveling all over i uh, just got back to san francisco yesterday and i'm down to just chill post singing lesson macaw is actually about to leave for a little trip but before that she's gonna try to teach me the butter dance since she learned it for like the three weeks that i was traveling so expect a cover on instagram or something <laughs> at some point Woo. this isn't even technically like part of the choreo but i think that like some of this cookie like, just do cookie it cookie does it, <laughs> cookie just does it. <laughs> and i think that it like helps it look better micah taught me the butter chorus which was fun and now we're watching an episode of run bts got some new fun skincare pickups want to show y'all i got the claire's Subtle Preparation Unscented Toner. I've wanted to try this for ages, so I'm super excited to test it out. I've heard very good things. And then I got this by Wish Trend Polyphenols in Propolis 15% Ampoule. Do not think I'm saying that right, but I've used this before and I really liked it. And then this is another Claire's product that I wanted to try. It's the Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drops. So I'm gonna be trying these this week. Hopefully we'll let you guys know how they are. But I got all these from Wish Trend, which is a Korean skincare retailer. I've used them for ages. I'm actually an affiliate partner with them, so if you guys want to get some stuff, a little discount, support me. There's a link down below, as always, but they're a brand that believed in me from the way back. They reached out to me, I think when this channel is tiny, like 4,000 subscribers or something. This isn't a sponsored video, they just like gift these to me and I get to feature them and show you guys how I like them. It's really time to just take care of all of this, you know? Hello, hello, it is the 4th of July. It's a Sunday, so it's a very chill day. A bunch of my family is actually out of town right now. Danielle and I are gonna go up to Napa with a couple friends as a cute little staycation for the 4th. So I'm glad to just have a couple days where I can completely take my mind off what I need to do breastfeed and just think about being present and spending time with loved ones. I did what was an attempt to be some summery makeup. I'm using this Tony Moly lip tint and I forgot how aggressively red it looks but it makes me look like I just hit a popsicle. I am just packing up to go to Napa. I'm very hungry and I want to go make myself a coffee downstairs but first I want to try these little snacks that my friend Rashan gave me and there are these like Korean cookie wafers, but they're trying to look European. That's always fun. <gasps> Just made a huge mess on my carpet. <laughs> Ooh, white hazelnut. It's like a little wafer cookie. Mm, but it's so crispy. I didn't expect it to be this crunchy. You know what's embarrassing? Wow. Sean and I did our laundry together while like I was staying with him and he was like, I normally wouldn't say this, but since we've done so much laundry together, <laughs> I feel like I've seen enough where you need to get new underwear. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, absolutely. My underwear all works, like it's all fine. It's just not new, it's just old. It's from <gasps> ah! This is definitely TMI for the vlog, but uh. Oh, Hey Paula! Hi. Woo! What a lovely little afternoon. No, we have you? our charcuterie. Just the views. is already spooky. Paula, say hi! Hi! Oh. Huh! 
it has been a nice long work week. It's Thursday. Today though, I figured I would do something a little fun after work. I'm gonna try to make some tiramisu since I bought all these lady fingers, not realizing that they're not very tasty and that they don't really have a purpose besides being in tiramisu or other desserts is what I've learned. So we're gonna try to make some and also BTS is a new song, Permission to Dance, comes out at 9 p.m. Pacific time, so in like an hour. So you already know we're very excited for that. But I'm gonna start making my tiramisu so it's done before then. Micah, let's watch it again. I just rewatched it. <laughs> you go watch it again. Oh my gosh, the pancakes from butter. I want to be an actor, an extra in one of BTS's videos. Who is this woman? <laughs> yes, Jin. This is a, like a cute chorus. I know, it's cute. Wait, he why does V so look good. so good? He looks so good. I was like, my king. His <laughs> serving looks. I thought Jimin looked really good in this yeah, too. Yeah, he does, he does. For a second though, I also, thought these were jorts. I'm like murping in the background, it's like my favorite. Oh my gosh, so that spin. Looks... This is big yeehaw. <laughs> I know. We love to see that view count. 20 minutes. Oh, 20 minutes ago? Oh my, right, oh my. 20 minutes of release. Oh my gosh. So when's the full album coming? <laughs> Should we rewatch Butter? <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna make my tiramisu. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Oh my gosh. I'm not normally a uh, crying on the vlog type of person, but it is a random Friday morning. I was just editing my like SoCal travel vlog and I like spontaneously started crying because <laughs> my older sister, Micah, who if you've been like watching any of my vlogs, you know, is like <laughs> One of my best friends and we've been living at home all together, but she's leaving for grad school the end of this month and I haven't like cried about this yet of my sister leaving, but it just kind of hit me that like Us growing up together and like having this time after graduation together has been so special and now with her leaving It's kind of the end of all that and we're like finally having to grow up a little bit Which is so dumb most people at my age <laughs> After college, they grow up and they never come back home and like that's kind of it. And it's not a big deal. It's not worth like crying about, but it doesn't help that I'm like a super sentimental person and that like this whole past year has made me like really, really appreciate my family more and like how lucky I am to have sisters that I'm close with. I don't know. I'm like a little shook realizing that this is my last month at home all together with my whole family. <laughs> This is really gross. I need to stop wiping my nose on my shirt. And I just need to stop crying because literally I have to work right now and like get on meetings and stuff, but... <sighs> okay, I've somewhat pulled myself together and I am going to put on some makeup so that you can't tell that I was just crying. I have a lot of calls today, so I'm like not trying to look like all puffy-eyed, you know? This is the face for today. Good morning. I've grabbed my coffee, emotions are reined in. So I'm in a more appropriate state of mind to be able to work now. All right, I've been working, had a bunch of calls this morning and I got the news from one of my managers today that the Facebook version of my Blackpink video, Eating Like Blackpink, that was posted yesterday hit two million views. That's so crazy, I think that's, the most views I've ever gotten on a piece of my own original content. My mind is blown and I'm just so thankful for anyone who has ever watched or appreciated any of my content. So since that's you, cause you're watching this, thank you. This day has been full of emotions. <laughs> Miss Wani and Macaw, best of friendos. <laughs> This is like Korean popcorn that my grandma used to give me, but honestly, it tastes like nothing. Like it tastes like sweet cardboard, <laughs> but I'm addicted to it. <laughs> We're getting expensive 
Okay, moment of truth, baby. This is what the cross section looks like. Oh, it's pretty good. My taste not bad. Something actually kind of exciting happening right now is that I'm about to log on to a call that is an interview with one of my friends. His name's Matt. He has a YouTube channel called Matt the Bat and he interviews like creatives, his friends, and people that make things, whether it's content or art of some sort, whatever it is, he'll interview them and have them on his really cool like animated talk show on YouTube. I've never seen anyone make anything like this. So I was very honored when he reached out to me. We met at Nickelodeon when I was working there right after my senior year of college. I will have the link for his channel down below though because I think it really is cool what he does. And he has a lot of people just from like across different industries who just do cool things. Look who I'm with after many, many years. It's Jack. Wow, you're so back with. Yay! Yeah, it's been so long. It's been so long and we're enjoying this beautiful view after we just trekked to get utensils for food. <laughs> <laughs> Sister outing to the mall downtown. Go crazy. We have not all been shopping downtown in a long minute. So we came here mostly for a specific boba shop, but we're just gonna walk around, see what's around, you know? Seriously, like all we came to the mall for was to get this boba shop. Pink pink, it's so cute. I really like it. Their drinks are yummy. Look how cute these drinks are. <laughs> Micah is dedicated to Candy Crush. <laughs> Exposed. We're having a delicious family Korean barbecue dinner. <laughs> wow, this is so much meat, Dad. So, that looks I really think good. This is the one that we're supposed to eat first. <laughs> this is. Also, I know earlier this month I was talking about some new Korean skincare products I was trying, so it's been like a couple weeks of me using them, so I thought I'd tell you my thoughts. The Claire's Supple Preparation Unscented Toner, incredible toner. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite toners that I've ever used. I love the consistency of it. The Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop from Claire's. I think this is really interesting. I've never used any products like it, but it definitely like really soaks into my skin well. And I feel like the effects of a product like this, which is like kind of anti-aging, you see the effects much more over a longer period of time, especially as like I get fine lines and stuff on my forehead and under my eyes. I feel like this helps that sort of thing out, which is nice. Not that there's anything wrong with like lines and wrinkles, but if my skin can be healthy and full, then I want it to be. And the last thing is this polyphenols and propolis 15% ampoule. I feel like it really helps like revive your skin, help it bounce back from things like acne, even sun exposure. I feel like when I use this after, it just helps like my skin repair itself. I really do enjoy these. I use them every single day and I feel like my skin is like not bad, especially right now, so. A few exciting things that I got in the mail today. It was a big mail day. I am super hyped. The first one is this Euphoria package. It is a new makeup company started by an alum from my college, actually, which is dope. This is what I'd look like if I were a Pop-Tart. Her name is Fiona, and she develops this makeup line to be effectively skincare as makeup, which I think is really interesting. Super cute packaging. Like, I cannot get over it. I love the font. I love the colors. And these are the products. And I have to say, I've been so impressed just from trying them out. So... She sent me two of their lip products and one cheek product. They are all magnetic and they have this little stand that you can clip them onto so they don't fall over in your drawers. The colors look a little aggressive on camera, but it's actually quite wearable. We got the shade Coral Fixation and Sound Stage. This product is so fascinating. It literally looks like a green oil in here, but you put it on, rub it on your skin, and it instantly turns into a really pretty natural looking pink blush. I love the way this looks on my skin. Now this second package is from a company called Glass Lizard, which is a like small indie vegan K-beauty brand. And I actually just joined their affiliate program because I love their products so much that they sent me. So thank you, Melissa at Glass Lizard. I asked if I could have a few more of their sheet masks because my family liked them so much. We just used all of them up that they had initially sent me. So we got six of their firming sheet masks and then six of their recovery 
every sheet mask. And I really like that the firming ones are a gel mask because I think they have really good ingredients in all their products. So highly recommend. Okay, the last stuff I got today, but I finally ordered from Gymshark, but one of my YouTube friends, Chris, San Francisco, she recently became a Gymshark ambassador, go off girl. So I decided I would support her a little bit, use her affiliate link. Um, I'll link her channel down below if you wanna check her out. She has amazing fitness content and also always looks bomb in her workout videos. So I got little sweatshirt cropped workout shirt that's super lightweight. It's just a really neutral beige color. This is a more skin tight mint sage colored crop top long sleeve. And this last one is like very skin tight. It's a little thicker material. And this is kind of also like a brown beige color. These are all very cropped, which I'm a little nervous about. I'm very conservative with how I dress. It's for working out. I'll just wear high-waisted leggings or whatever, and I'm sure I'll be fine. Additionally, to follow up on our prior conversation about underwear finally got some new underwear because you know gymshark had it so not that that's super important but they do have a good variety of cotton and more like stretchy seamless laser cut options which i like second choice i was No, no. It is now Saturday. I just got done with my little hosting gig and I'm headed up to Napa. Micah, my older sister, as I mentioned, she is moving at the end of this month. So today she's hosting a little like going away party thing for a few of her friends. And I'm excited to just hang out, have some good vibes, have a relaxing Saturday in the sun, hopefully. I feel like I've been like holding a lot of tension in my body. Like I can feel it in my shoulders, in my back. That's not good. Want to release that. Are you comfortable? Hello, it's Sunday. All of Micah's friends have gone now, but it was a lovely time. <laughs> One of her friends gave her this hat. Wait, she made those? Yeah. That's so cute. Wait, put it on like the right way. Oh my gosh, oh, cute. Really cute. Aww. Oh my gosh, and then her friends also got her this army pencil <laughs> case to take to business school. But I was telling Micah that like in classes, literally these MBA students, if someone recognizes it, then they'll immediately become friends. <sighs> Very tired. This weekend was my first time staying up late and drinking alcohol at the same time <laughs> in a really long, normally it's one or the other, like glass of wine and go to bed very early or stay up late, normally like just watching TV, run BTS or something, or never have I ever, season two came out, I'm very excited. Right now we're probably gonna practice butter a little bit because we haven't danced in a while and just wanna make sure we don't lose it. You know? Okay. <laughs> filming my twice video, but today we're filming a dumpling challenge video. My whole family. Thanks, mom. <laughs> and so we're prepping all the ingredients to be able to film once my dad and Danielle's home and everyone's gonna make their own dumplings and everyone's gonna blind taste test each other's dumplings, which I think should be fun, hopefully. People have liked these types of videos on BuzzFeed in the past and I can't believe no one's done it with dumplings before. There's so much variety in dumplings. This is behind the scenes of our little dumpling shoot. I'm just filming some B-roll on this camera here for the video. I have my computer up with Slack, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start making my dumplings and then every family member needs to make their own. There's so many options. <laughs> Classic work day, but Maka and I are taking Shanini on a walk. The best work break. Just take Shanini to get some fresh air. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> with the gopher. 
The sisters are going on a little joy ride to Walgreens because <laughs> we're all sad. We had a long day. <laughs> we're not all sad. I'm really sad. Because <laughs> Danielle's sad, so we're going to Walgreens. I am tired from a long day of work and Micah is leaving tomorrow for a little a little trip. So we're just, you know, enjoying our quality time together. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, let's go get our snacks. <laughs> Self-therapeutic. I think the Smurfs are pretty good. Smurf sours no, are pretty good. Oh, they're not the kinds of gummies that I like. You don't like those, dude? Oh, you don't yeah. like anything. They are right here. Oh. Normally they're hanging. Though. I think one of these was in one of the butter okay. promos. Should we get one more? I say sour scuddy. Where's sour the sour scuddy? Sour scuddy. I think we're going to start watching Mindy Kaling's Never Have I Ever season two, which is absolutely guaranteed to be full of chaos and cringiness, but I'm really excited. We binged season one literally all in one night when it first came out. Uh, it was like the peak of quarantine. We were just like, you know what? We got nothing else to do. So I'm excited to see what season two will bring. Watch it on the TV. Yeah. I can only handle one episode, to be honest. I think this is going to be a lot. <laughs> Are we literally picking up where... <laughs> Oh gosh, without even looking at the footage of this vlog, I can already tell it's probably gonna be a little bit of a chaotic one. So I apologize for that, but just wanted to clock out and say thanks for watching. Last plug for Wish Trend. I feel like the skin has been looking snatched these past couple weeks that I've been vlogging. So go get you some with my code Joelle15 for 15% off. I figured I'd start a new vlog because I turn 24 very soon. So you can look forward to a birthday vlog. So with that, thank y'all so much for watching. Love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.